welcome back. This is Bella Scoob, an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined, as always, by nobody. Nobody's here with me, because today we are going to be looking at Extras Mode, the extra features of Chrono Trigger. Now that I have unlocked all the endings, we have unlocked everything here. I have it on uh, slot 2. Slot 1 is full! Mostly of Xenogear stuff I need to get rid of, to be honest with you. Uh, these are all the things uh, that you can get by getting all the endings. You have to get all the endings to fill this out completely. Uh, first up is this theater here. Uh, we can play all the full motion videos from the PlayStation version of the game here in the theater. Uh, like I said, there it's just the PlayStation versions of the videos. You can't actually watch the cutscenes or anything like that here. Uh, these last two here are the ones that you get at the end. The Grand Flow of Time is the one that I've been calling the wedding one. Uh, Life Skips a Beat is the one with uh, the Mass Moon I get lost and uh, Destruction of the Kingdom of Guardia and all that kind of stuff. Uh, next up is the Music Box. Now, just like in Xenogears, they give you the option of playing all the music of the game. Now, to be honest, there is so much more music here than I, than I thought there was in the game. So much. I mean, just so, so very much. Obviously, I can't play all of these for you. Uh, but there is Fanfare. Who doesn't love the Fanfare? Gotta love that. Uh, there's just so much going on here. Um, for when Johnny first comes out, to the bike chase, I mean everything. Robo's theme, even Lavos' theme. Yeah, the scary music. Uh, there's apparently different boss battle music every time. Uh, more fanfare. Oh, Battle 2, this one's not used. Interesting. So there you go, some new music for you guys. Let's keep that going until I find something that else that's not used. Burn Babonga Burn? It's crazy. What kind of name is this? This battle music's okay. I like the, the original battle music better. I see why they didn't use it. Singing Mountain? Interesting. Interesting. But this is how you get those. Uh, these are slowly unlocked as you get each ending. You usually get about 10 per ending uh, for the ones that do unlock music. Not all of them do. It's kind of weird that way. And then um, I think that is it for the music. There are 69 songs here in the music box. That is quite a bit. Two of them not used though, so there there is music here that is not in the game. Always nice to see. Next up is the monster data. Now here you can pick uh, certain monsters as you in certain areas and they'll give you the HP, the weakness, what they absorb, what they cancel, how much experience and how much gold you get out of them, what item you can win, what you can charm from them. It's nice. Um, I would have rather had this information beforehand. Some kind of easier way to get this kind of information out. Everything would be a lot easier that way. Um, of course you can do this for every time period uh, that we've gone to. Uh, Dark Ages is 12,000 BC by the way and of course there's no apocalypse or end of time um, because there's no regular monsters there. This does not include the bosses here. Uh, in, ha in Hassa, here they even have the new... There's an HP of 1, 2, 3, 4. How interesting. You can charm a mop from the news. I did not know that. You learn something new every time. Uh, but the bosses are over here in boss data. We'll get there later. Uh, next up, we have the endings. Uh, we can see all the endings of the game. They don't show the endings. Well, you, you can see them. Uh, conditions, and then the comments. You're sure to see this ending once Chrono returns. It will vary depending on whether you use the epoch or not. So try it out! Uh, this is uh, the main ending here, Beyond Time. Uh, then it goes forward through the game, so the opposite of how I went through it. Uh, then we have Reunion. Let's just read all the comments here. Yes, defeat levels while Chrono is dead. So, okay, the second one goes, uh, 
a little bit backwards. It, the way that they do it is weird, to be honest with you. You can see Ascending, if you defeat Lawless World Turn, is dead. Ascending also varies depending on whether you use the Epoch or not, so check it out. Um, then we have the Dream Project. This is the last one that I showed you. Start the game with New Game Plus and immediately defeat Lavos in the present or at the Ocean Palace. I will show that fight uh, later on because that fight is different than the other Lavos fights that we have done. And that's considered the hard version of Lavos. Um, touch the Shining Land on the right side of the Telepod to go straight to Lavos. This is not something that they tell you when you uh, don't have it, when you haven't viewed it yet. Uh, they pretty much tell you when you see the ones that have been unlocked. For instance, if I didn't have the Dream Project unlocked, it would say on Reunion, something along the lines of there is one ending that you could get um, by being the game after this, and 11 that you could get by being the game before this point. That's the only information that they give you, unfortunately. Uh, then there's the successor of Guardia. This is the one where everybody was a frog. Anytime before you reach the trial. So, the trial is the, the key point there. Your only chance is between the time you return to the present and the trial event. After you return, proceed immediately to the right side of the telepod. They don't really tell you that much about these endings, unfortunately. Uh, good night. This is, I don't know, there's an attempt at slapstick thing that they were going for. And most of these, uh, most of these are kind of weird. Lavos is easier to defeat from Lean Square because you don't have to go through the, the boss gauntlet um, for, well, for a lot of these. But yeah, from Lean Square, you don't have to go through the boss gauntlet. End of time, you do. So it's a lot easier to go through Lean Square. I didn't mind doing the, the, the bucket just to keep it consistent, to be honest with you. Uh, Legendary Hero, this is the one with uh, Tata. After slaying Zombor, defeat Lavos before you receive the Hero Medal from Tata. Once you knock out Zombor, immediately go back and defeat Lavos. Remember to recover any member that's been hit by MP Buster. Yes, I freaking hate that MP Buster. It was forcing me into ends every time I went through this game. And there's the Unknown Past. This is uh, the one where they kind of went through the game without us. It was weird. You can't go back once the party starts in prehistoric era, so be sure to go to Lavos right after you get the medal from Tata. So, yeah, you have to do this before uh, the party with Jojo. People of the Times, this is the one where it's just the sprite slideshow. It's not that great, to be honest with you. And a lot of these comments are just how to get it, which is what the conditions are, too. Right. There's just... Yeah, you have to have the repaired mass movie for that one. And there's the Oath. This is the one with the epic battle between um, Luke and Novin. You're guaranteed this ending by defeating Lavos after handing the Masamune to Frog. This ending is so cool! This one was one of the better ones. I'll, I'll be honest, a lot of the, the endings were kind of hit or miss for me. And there's Dino Age. Uh, everybody's a Reptite. That, that's pretty much straightforward, I would think. Uh, but then again, this one is the one that kind of confuses me, because if we need to defeat Azala in order to make sure everybody's not a Reptite, then all the endings before that should also be with us as Reptite, I would think. But apparently I would be wrong with that. What the Prophet seeks after defeating Azala, kill Lavos before Shala opens the magic seal in Ocean Palace. This ending is also very cool. <laughs> what was the prophet looking for? Lavos. See, they even know it's ambiguous, to be honest with you. A slideshow? Yeah. The time frame you get for this ending is the shortest of all. As soon as you see Shala open the magic seal, get out of the seal palace and go spank Lavos. This one, I did not like this one, to be honest with you. The one where just like gossip up and down and that's the last one so there are 12 endings here and there are 13 overall they don't have the one where you lose to Lavos here because technically you can't save your game after you lose uh, so it's not listed there then we have the art gallery and these 
to be honest, we I think we've seen these all at, s at some point or another. There's nothing that fantastic here, but they're here. They're, they're pretty nice. They're, they're in sharp detail, which is always nice. Always nice. I didn't know that uh, Bloon had that tabard on, to be honest with you. He's got a lot of cloth for a robot. There's Novin in his froggy glory. See, and, and there is the reason that I was, well, fawning over JoJo all the damn time. Kind of in, in a creepy way, to be honest with you. I heard it back, and I was like, oh, what the hell? And there's Luke. He does look awesome in this picture with that scythe. It's very menacing. I've never been exactly sure how a scythe would work in battle, like, logistically, but maybe that's just me overthinking things again. Here's something that, to be honest, I don't think we saw at any point ever. This is an awesome picture between the, the fire and ice. I don't know, it kind of looks like she's casting wind there, but still the ice and the fire combined looks very awesome there between Kyra and Lamia. And now we have the upskirt shot of Jojo. There's no other way to put that. There's, there's no real reason for her to be spread-legged like that, but she is. Good for her. Oh, and now we have the sweet one. Her eyes are a little messed up in this one, though. Oh, no. Maybe that's just me being overly picky. And here she is riding it. Uh, why we need to see so much of her as opposed to everybody else, I'm not sure. But there is definitely more of her, I think, than anything else. Here we see the Epoch. I did not name that. Couldn't think of a good name for a time travel ship with five layers or less. Everything had to be five layers or less in this game. I have nothing to say about the thumbs up. I got nothing. Uh, that one is cool. Uh, this picture of Novin staring down Magus's lair all alone. I will defeat you, Luke, Magus, whatever. Uh, this one, I don't know. This one is a little weird for me because this is clearly the Epoch again. But to me, this one's a little non-canon compared to the game. It, this is definitely not what this part of the map looked like. The room did not look like this. Maybe that's just me. Once again, overthinking things. I tend to do that. Oh, my bad. I zoomed in. Did not mean to do that. Here we have the picture from the wedding. Uh, I've seen this many times. I don't know how often I cut that out, but here it is. <laughs> More wedding pictures, and then we're back to the beginning. There's not very many uh, pictures in the art gallery, but it is nice. Uh, you can see the text. Um, to be honest, they don't really show that much. Here, they, they pretty much just show a screenshot of the tech while you're using it and tell you how much it costs and who uses it. Uh, to me, that's not very good at all. You can see all of them going through here. The way that I did it was so much better. So much better. You, know, you can cast life, which I think we saw a few times. Oh, look at Confused. There's technically... I think there's three Vashes on screen. There's one at the top and then two kind of really close to each other down there. Weird pictures. Weird pictures, to be honest with you. Uh, you can see all the single text, all the dual text, and all the triple text here. There are a ton of text in this game, aren't there? To be honest, I am a fan of that, but still, that is a ton. A ton. Does it have any descriptions of what it does? Uh, grand... Dream. Physical attack with new mass moon eye. That's not true. There's... What's the one I'm thinking of? No, no. There we go. Lifeline. Revive or restore allies once. Yeah, that's not really all the information that you need about that one, unfortunately. Uh, this is th probably my favorite thing here, these last two. Uh, the boss data is awesome. I love that they would do this. You can see all the bosses throughout the entire game in the order that they expected you to go through them. And uh, not only can you get uh, some good information, right? See uh, their HP, the experience, the gold, how much how many tech points you get, what, they, what they're weak to, what they absorb, uh, what they cancel, items you win and you charm, but I mean, that, that is a lot of information that you can get from these guys, and they're all here, both slashes, 
That was kind of a weird picture, to be honest with you. All of them up to... Yeah, the Mud Imp. I forgot about that guy. You got Dalton, the, the, the strong Lavos. Let's take a look at 30,000 HP, the strong Lavos. This is the guy that I'll be taking on eventually. Uh, you don't get anything from him. If you beat him, you win the game. He, he's got 30,000 HP, but he's tough. He's tough, and I'll be showing him off eventually. Dalton Plus! <laughs> what a weird name. Uh, Lava Spawn. Oh, yeah, then we got uh, the side quests here. We got Retinite, Flea Plus, Super Slash, uh, Aussie. They just call that the Aussie fight. And we got Great Aussie. Atropos, Mother Brain, Sun the Sun, Rust here now. Yakura the, the 13th. Mega Mutant. All the mutants here are from the Black Omen. Lava Spawn and the Black Omen is technically a different fight, even though it's the same thing. The shell, you can kill the shell. You can also charm it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Zeal, Man Machine, Zeal again. <laughs> Lavos. This one, uh, this one is annoying. Is it going to show all of them? No, it doesn't even show anything here. <laughs> That's kind of uh, mean, to be honest with you. Lavos, oh. Lavos Shell. Yeah, once again, just how much HP it has. This is the last of the boss gauntlet fights. Uh, but then I guess for this fight, it would be all the HPs from earlier and all that kind of stuff. Inner Lavos and Lavos Core. This guy is tough. The, the Lavos bit that take, doesn't take much center bit. Lavos Core. Why it's the one on the right, I don't know. I don't know why it's the one on the right. That is so weird for me. And you also see the treasure map. Finally. This is the last part of the extras. I know this is probably taking a while. Uh, but you can literally go through the entire map here. Uh, we're in the present right now. I don't know if you guys caught that. And you can go in and you can see what items you can get out of the treasure chests. Including a safe helm, a swallow, uh, which is what we'll be seeing more swallows much later on in the sequel to this game. Um, there is one thing I do want to show off here, though, because there is an enemy that I have not been able to show. And that's here at the end of time. As you can see, there's there's pretty much nothing here. So why would they show it? Oh, that's right. Specchio is here. Let's go through that door, and we see all the different forms of Specchio. So I was able to take on this form. I'd, I'd missed this one, unfortunately. I believe it was this one I missed. Uh, and then I took on this one. You get a magic tab and five full ethers. I did show this one as well. Power tab, magic tab, speed tab, and elixir times ten. Now this form here, I have not shown off at all. Interesting. I haven't even gone over it. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. We'll be seeing more of that later. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the extras. This is something nice that they put into... I believe this is just the PlayStation version, to be honest with you. But I do like that they added this in. It's a nice little summary, and well, it's a little bit of a showcase of what you've done in the game. So, I got one more little thing to show you uh, before the end of this video. This video might go a little bit long, uh, because this is one of those things that's been bugging me, to be honest with you. Today, I will be showing how to get the perfect trial. Get everybody to say you're not guilty. It doesn't change the plot any, but this is one of those OCD things that has bothered me. First up, let's talk to, to Limea here. I mean, this unknown girl. We don't know who it is. Uh, this is going to be the first check. There are seven checks because there are seven jurors, and we need them all on our side. First things first, for the first check, you need to talk to Limea first then get the pendant, then come back and talk to her again. Yes, you can have it back. Yes, you can come with us. Wonder is now on our side. I'll meet you at the next check. Now, there are two checks on this screen. Number one, there is the lunch here. Do not eat the lunch. There's no point in it. You don't get anything out of it except a juror that says that you're guilty. Instead, grab the kitty and use the very frustrating kitty mechanics to bring the kitty with you to the other side. Come on, kitty. We can do this. I believe in you, kitty. We can make it to the little girl. Come on. Yes, you made it around the corner. I found your cat. Hooray. 
I am so sweet. But more importantly, jurors number two and three down. Now, we need to speak with Melchior because this is technically, I believe, the same juror as the guy who will testify against you if you eat your lunch, to be honest with you. So this is technically not for a juror, but you definitely still have to say, no, I am not selling the young lady's pendant. You have to say that. Now we are ready to get our next juror. This is definitely one now. So we have three jurors still on our side. We need to try to head over here, but no. Lamia wants some candy. And this, to be honest, is the most annoying of the checks. We have to sit here. I did not mess this up last time. You can turn in place here without uh, losing this, but if you stay perfectly still, you've earned yourself a juror number four. I'll meet you at the next one, because the next one's a little bit of a ways away. And now we're back when Lamia gets rescued. Well, she gets reverted back from nothingness. This is actually the next check. This is one that I did not think was a check, but it actually is. It was awful. It was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. It's my basement. No. No, of course not. Yeah. This, oh no, we found out she's a princess. Yes, of course. Now this is an actual check here, according to my experimentation, even though I looked it up, to be honest with you. I looked up a, a few of the walkthroughs here going, what did I do wrong? And none of them mentioned this as a check. You wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? This is where I'm supposed to be a little cold-hearted, Talimia. I have to say right here. See, I like Lamia better than Princess anyway. So, we got a little bit new, a little bit of new conversation here. Uh, but that is actually a check there. We, we need to tell her that if we had known she was a princess, we would not have taken her along with us. We need to act like we don't care about her anymore. So, to this point, we do have five jurors on our side. And here in the trial itself is where we're going to get our last two as you might expect this is actually pretty damn important we now bring forth the defendant vash must be brought forth in his spiky head glory uh, we get asked a series of questions here fire hang him upside down for a few years Shall we employ the guillotine? In a few years, that will just grow my spiky hair, increasing my power. Okay. So this is also the spot where I messed up in my regular uh, playthrough before as well. Um, I was under the impression that I needed to throw Limea under the bus here, but kind of contradictory to what you would think. To get yourself off the hook, you need to confess a little bit, because I guess it's implied that the lawyer kind of disproves you if you say uh, that Limea started it. You have to say that you started the mess, just as I suspect the defendant deliberately tried to get near the princess. I did start it this time, actually. I did want to bump into her. Yeah, ouch, that hurt. Thank you, Limea. Princess then innocently followed you to Kyra's little sideshow, whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Right. So here, we uh, do get the two checks here. Um, that we got in Lean Square. Either, well, not either. Uh, if you help the little girl with her kitty, she'll come forth. If you gave the guys a meal, 
uh, he'll come forth and testify against you. Melchior will also testify against you. And I'll cost you a juror if they do that. Doesn't this young man deserve a medal? Yes, of course he does. It looks like they're buying it. I don't like this guy. He thinks... He thinks I'm lying, apparently. So then, we just have one more check to go through. We already have six jurors on our side. No, the fortune didn't tempt me. I was not at all tempted. That's enough. I have no more questions. He's a fine, noble young man, John. The defense rests. And now it is time for the jury to tell me if I've done this right. But to be honest, I know that I've done it right. I've done it many, many times now. Not guilty. Not guilty, but I do want to show proof that it actually can be done. Because when I watched uh, Let's Plays of this, I had not seen it done. So I want to proof out there that it actually can be done. And that it's not that difficult, to be honest with you. As far as I can tell, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter if you rescue the, the Chancellor from... Uh, from the room that Yakra's in or not. It doesn't matter if you take Lamia back to your place and sleep overnight there. It does not matter. And number seven says not guilty. There you have it. Not guilty across the board. But we have to see what kind of reward we get from this. I mean, after all, I'm not guilty. I got 100% of the jurors on my side. But we still get solitary confinement. It doesn't change anything plot-wise. Of course, we're still going to have to bust out of jail here. You know what? I'm just going to skip to, uh, to the reward. Because this actually takes longer than, uh, than I'm willing to keep in. And we wake up in jail. Hooray for... Not having a single person on our side. You get the MP and HP recovery. And, yeah, every time I try to do that, it goes down here and these guys talk. I want to see my reward. What do I get? For having seven Drews on your side, you get six Ethers. There's no real reward for doing it, but it's one of those things. That drove me nuts that I didn't get that done. Yes, two days until the execution. So that is how you get the jury on your side. And that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been joined, as always, by, well, just just pretty much the innocent but still guilty Vash, Lamia, and Kyra. I've been Baller Scuba. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Well, this part. Just this one part today. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.